I'm going to talk about two things during this lesson. I'm going to talk about chord substitutions and I'm going to talk about chord progressions. Um, in the previous lessons, I've been told that I've been, I spent too much time talking about a concept and not moving on to the next concept. So I'm going to try and move faster than I was before. So um, just to help you understand, again, I think, of, I think of chords in terms of, one of the ways I think of chords in terms, uh, one of the ways I think of chords and chord progressions, I think in terms of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So um, that would be one in the key of C. That would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is an octave higher than one. So um, when I'm thinking, I'll be talking about movements of chords from the one to the four, four to the two, two to the five, whatever, when I think about that, just so you know. Now, I'm going to tell you my first and most favorite chord substitution. It's really easy. Instead of playing the straight chord, C, like that, I would play C2, which is C with a D, skip the E, play the G and the C up at the top. Or sometimes I exclude the C at the bottom and I just play a D, G, and a C. And it has a very interesting sound, far more interesting than the straight C. And sometimes I go alternately between the chords. So that's the first one. So I use it on all chords that I play, even on minor chords. So um, if I was... C minor, I'd play it like that. Okay? So, the next substitution that I use a lot is I use it, I use major sevenths. And, um, so again in the key of C, um, I play C major seven sometimes. So we're playing. Do you know the song? Jesus Christ, I think upon your sacrifice. So I play. Jesus Christ, I think upon your sacrifice. You became nothing, poured out to death. So again, the first chord, instead of playing a straight C, I play it C major seven. Or if I was playing it in the key of G, I play a G major 7. Jesus Christ. Then the G sus. Think upon your sacrifice. Then when I go to the C, you became nothing. The only thing you can't you can't use the major 7 on is on the 5 chord. So in the key of G, the 5 chord would be D. In the key of C, the 5 chord would be G. If you play the major 7th in the key of C, it sounds a little bit weird. So, just so you know, it actually uh, introduces a note that, that is used as an accidental, not as, a, not as a main note. So, those are two substitutions that I use. The, second sub, the third substitution that I use is, um, uh, is, is in the minor chords. So, um, in the case of A minor, for example, A minor is the number six chord, is the number six chord in the key of C and instead of playing A minor I play A minor 7 it sounds more fun and I even take it a little uh, another step further because the 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 the, key, the notes in A minor are actually the same notes in C6 if you don't know what C6 is if you don't know what C2 is if you don't know what C major 7 is if you don't know what C7 is I recommend that you look at a book that, that shows you actual fingering of chords because that's not what I'm going to talk about in this lesson. But if you, if you look at the notes in A minor, they're the same notes as in C6. A minor 7, that is. So, so I take the, instead of just playing the minor 7, I take the substitution even further and I just play C on the right hand and I play A on the bottom hand. There's another relationship called relative minors. I use that relationship as well. So, so that one I just played was D minor with a D at the bottom. 
D minus 7 at the top, but D minus 7 looks like F6. So I just play an F at the top. E minus 7 looks like a G6, so I play a G at the top. And E at the bottom. Do you catch that? So like in a song like more love, more power. So we have more love, more power. So it goes A minor, D minor, E minor. I'm just playing straight minors now. A minor, D minor, E minor. More of you in my life. Now I start to make it more interesting. A minor seven. More love, D minor seven. More power, E minor seven. More of you in my life. Now I'm taking the substitution the full way. I'm playing C on the top, A on the bottom, F on the top, D on the bottom, G on the top, E on the bottom, but it's still A minor, D minor, E minor. Think of it in those terms. So, more love, more power, more of you. can even start to use in the substitutions of C while I'm playing A minor so I can play C2 right there and not dwell on it but just drop it in from time to time unfortunately you can't take the extension as far as C major 7 but um, you can certainly use the C2 D minor the key of D. So the minors in D would be B minor, E minor, F sharp minor. So again, B minor, B minor 7. B minor 7 looks like C, like D6, so I just play D at the top. More love, more power, more of you in my life. If you understand the concept of relative minors, think relative minors. So B is the relative minor of what? Of D. E is the relative minor of what? Of G. F sharp is the relative minor of what? Of A. So just use those substitutions. So without jumping around the chords, I'm jumping around to show you, but I like to use... Um, I forget the term. Uh, inversions of the chords so instead of I can play D in all sorts of ways instead of going like that it's boring I'm gonna I'm going to use different inversions as well so 